my team turn. Take me out on the water. We eat fishy. Way out in the woods. Where the breathing is easy, the living is good. And welcome to Larry Smith Outdoors. Today's program is brought to you by the Badger Sportsman Magazine, Artline Barrels, Warrior Boats, Big Snow Resort, Wings Over Wisconsin, Mike's Country Meats, Midwest Shooter Supply, Burger Smokehouse, Delco, Vexlar, The Guillotine by Rutfin, Karsten, Dick Smith's Bait and Tackle, Come Along Measuring Tools, Commick Law Firms, Norm's Egg, and Jiffy. And remember, it's a great day to be alive. Holy moly. stack up on the sun. Oh, life or death. Like it's not too windy too. That's the, really the killer. Right. So I just put some heavier weights on there because that was a pretty big spoon. So it's got a counter just right for the bait. So the bigger the bait, the more the more weight you add onto the little pedestal here. Looks like I got it about right. Beyond the Cat! <laughs> hey, welcome to Larry Smith Outdoors. Boy, I love that. Hey, we're up in Ashland this week, and I'll tell you what, my wife said, stop saying that. I don't know why. She says, you know what? I tell you what too many times. We're with our good friend, Tommy Hicks from Beyond the Catch Guide Service. And I'll tell you, Tommy, what do we got going on here? Well, we got a whole line of guillotines down the row here and we're waiting for uh, browns, splake, whitefish, and possibly a few lake trout. Holy cats. Well, I'm gonna tell you. You know, this is probably one of my favorite places to come in the state. We have a lot of great areas to fish, but this is absolutely a beautiful area, and the fish here are delicious. Yeah, they're very good eating, especially the splake. And it's a planted fish. A splake, you'll see these on the show today. They're a cross between a brook trout and a lake trout. They're planted. They're a great table fare fish. They're non-reproducing, so they're for the sport fishermen. Um, and they're a lot of fun. They are a lot of they fun. Fight like that. Hey, and speaking of fun, we've got our good friends from the guillotine here. Yep. We've got Keith. Hey, are you skipping school today, Luke? <laughs> we got Luke and we got Kirk. Hey, I'll tell you what, you guys, we've fished a lot of stuff so far this year with them guillotines and caught a ton of fish. Yeah. What can you tell everybody? Well, that's just it. I mean, this product, you can take it out for panfish. We're out, obviously, for trout today. We were out for northern. We are out for walleyes. One product, you take it out there, you can fish whatever you want, whatever lure you want, multiple species, so that's why it was designed, so you can take one thing on the ice, fish whatever you want. Hey, I'm gonna tell you guys a little something that I never thought in my life I'd ever hear. I've heard people complain that it catches too many fish. I'm gonna put a little bit, I'm gonna put a disclaimer in on this guillotine. You don't have to keep them all, right? <laughs> I mean, right. I mean, I've never in my life yeah. heard anybody complain about catching too many fish. And you know, we talked about this, you guys, over and over. 
it is a learning tool for sure. Big time. Yep. And an, another nice thing, we fish a lot of set lines. You know, in Wisconsin, we can have three lines. So it's not like we're putting our Vexilar in and this is fishing for us. That's not the point of it. We're spreading them out and covering water, and it's an effective jigging tool instead of a bait just sitting there. And it shows you what you're doing wrong. That's yeah. to me, that's exactly. the key thing about the You can the control guillotine. all of them up to six of them on one remote. Yep, one remote, six units. And a lot of these big brown trout, I mean, we could get browns up to 30 inches today or bigger. And instead of a tip up where they're taking it, by the time you get there, they're swallowed. These are hooking a lot of them fish right in the corner of the mouth. So an easy release is perfect. That is one of the coolest things, yeah. too, right there. Yeah, very healthy on the fish. Hey, I'll tell you what, stay tuned. Let's see what happens today up here on Lake Superior. Hey, Tommy, can I say it one more time? I'll tell you what. No. <laughs> Beyond the cats. I love that. Uh, hey, stay tuned. Let's see what happens. Trophy Ice Fish, Green Bay's premier ice fishing guide service. Captain Lonnie Goldman specializes in trophy walleye and whitefish packages. Clients are shuttled out on six passenger Yamaha UTVs to heated ready to fish ice houses. Perfect for family, friends, and corporate outings. Restrooms on the ice and their exclusive shore lunch make Trophy Ice Fish the top choice for your ice fishing fun and comfort on the Bay of Green Bay. Check out TrophyIceFish.com or call Barbara at 920-255-2617 to book your ice fishing adventure. The guillotine, the most versatile jigging and hook setting system the fishing industry has ever seen programmed and customized jigging and hook setting techniques. Bringing innovative remote control technology to the fishing world. This all purpose tool will change the way you fish. The guillotine, made by Rudd Finn. At Jiffy, we break new ground. In fact, every decision we make revolves around it. The new Chevy 46 Extreme is 49 cc's of unmatched power with a fixed position propane system and over twice the efficiency for low end torque. Or go ninja with the Chevy 44 Pro, the lightest in its class, the best in power and portability inside and outside. The only ice augers built in the USA. Chevy, we put the world on ice. Badger Sportsman Magazine is Wisconsin's outdoor magazine. Badger Sportsman provides the best Wisconsin fishing and hunting information written by local Wisconsin guides and professionals to help you put more fish in the live well, birds in the bag, and venison in the freezer. Go to badgersportsman.com or call us at 920-230-3474. Subscribe now and get our current issue mailed to you as a free bonus. Badger Sportsman Magazine, Wisconsin's outdoor magazine. He's got one. Right there. Right there. Hooked up on the guillotine. Number one, how's he feel? Good. Not easy, bad, here, easy here. Yeah. Right. Just a little brown, oh, but it's man. a good start. Nice splake. Remember the planted fish I was talking about that's a cross between a brook trout and a lake trout? Be a good eating fish. I don't think Larry will let me throw this one back. Another one? <laughs> we got a good one, Tommy! Oh, that is a dandy of a fish. Big brown. Woo! <laughs> 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 Yeah! yeah. Oh, right. Look at that! Woo. Nice <laughs> job! Nice, nice that fish. That is absolutely awesome. Nice fish. Look at that. You gotta love that. She's yes. putting her eggs right on your jacket. You fought? You fought? <laughs> Look at these. <laughs> Nate actually wanted some of these. I want some eggs. <laughs> right? Beautiful trout. Oh, give a jar. Beautiful, give beautiful. Jar. Oh, hey, hey, oh, we got a oh. guillotine just went up. Nice plate. Nice plate. On the guillotine. Yep. There we go. There we go. Good eating fish right there. Where's your locator? What do you got there? Oh. 
kind of quick. Kind of quick. It's the oh, there you all. go. And we know that's a planted fish because it's missing that adipose fin. Okay. So they clip that off and they plant them. And again, this fish isn't legal and it didn't swallow the hook. The hook, it, it always is catching them in the mouth, in the corner of the mouth, top of the mouth. You know, so those fish, you can let them go, you know. And you get to catch them on a fishing pole. And you get to catch them with a fishing pole. But I was wow. faster than Luke, so I got to catch them. <laughs> hey, we got to do something about your dad, right? He's got too long a leg, so I'll tell you that. Just got here. Just Reset. setting up. And how long does it take us to set up a guillotine? Very fast. It slowed down a little bit, so I said, let's move. We brought six guillotines. And... Yeah, and I think it scares people that they look so technical because they are. But yeah. we throw them in the sled and we bomb this is a nice. Ice. This is a nice fish right here. Here we go, Luke. Luke's the, the big fish massacre today. And at the end, you'll see me kind of guiding the line. And I'm not pulling that fish up. I'm simply just keeping it off the bottom of the ice when they're making their mad circles. That's where, <laughs> that's where they get a little upset there, don't they, bud? Nice yeah. job, buddy. Yeah. Nice brown. Nice brown. So that's a natural fish. See the adipose fin is on there? So that one wasn't planted. That's a natural producing fish. Another one. Another one. Another one. Luke, we're hooked up, buddy. How long have we been here? Five minutes. Five minutes. And we got three fish and lost one. Another one. We got another guillotine just went off down the shore. Real nice flake, buddy. Look at that one. Nice job, bud. Thanks. Nate's got one on. Another fish on the guillotine right here. Get it, Luke. You see me grabbing the line all the time at the hole. Oh! That was a good one. That was about, I'd say, 24, 26 yeah, inches. That was a nice fish. Oh, yeah. We literally cannot stop running right now. <laughs> Connor was just trying to take his coat off. Larry's picking up his gear. Them guys are on their way down. It is one fish after oh, another. Oh, man, that's fantastic. Nate just lost a, I don't know, six, seven pound brown. Another splake, buddy. Oh, and he come off right at the hole. Woo. Another splake on the guillotine. We're going to let him go, let him go and let him grow. Not quite big enough. No spike. I know I gotta do this because there ain't there's like no chance of Nate being able to see this. I can't see that. Right after this I'll tie your shoes. Creating a fishing boat that delivers unsurpassed fishability, speed, and performance on the water is achieved through an ongoing commitment to quality and a driving passion for making great boats even better. You'll see this commitment to quality and a passion for building the fisherman's boat in every Warrior Boat model you see on the water. For additional information on Warrior Boat's new V208, check out their website at warriorboatsinc.com or visit your local Warrior Boats dealer to schedule a test drive and see for yourself why no fishing boat on the market offers a smoother, drier ride, more interior cockpit space, more storage, more room to fish big water in complete comfort and safety than the V208 from Warrior Boats. 
Burger Smokehouse, your handcrafted smoked meat headquarters since 1952. Our dry rub recipes, aging process, and natural hardwood smoking come together to create bold, satisfying flavors that we are proud to stand behind. Whether it's summer sausage, hearty sportsman's cut bacon, or dry rub barbecue ribs, we are your source for top-notch hardwood smoked meats that you'll be proud to serve family and friends. Visit us online at smokehouse.com or look us up at your local grocery store. with Tom Hicks and Larry Smith. Don't get no better. We gotta get him on raft. You're like part cowboy, you lassoed him. Look at this. Yes, it did. We I am not kidding you like guys. Crazy. There was another splake followed this thing almost right up the hole. <laughs> there you go. Oh, Tommy. Okay. Woo, we made a move. <laughs> and I'll tell you what, that's what I love about your guiding business. You're not afraid to pick everything up. We had a lot of gear laying there. Well, I did leave you there for a few minutes. Yeah, that was okay. <laughs> you know? Look at that. Nice. Beautiful. Woo. Hey, how's that going to taste on tinfoil with a little butter That's going to be very good. I'll tell you that. You know what? The problem is that Keith and I might have to rustle for some of these fish. And he's a lot bigger than I am. Right? Hey, look where the hook is. Right in the corner of the mouth. You know, we're catching a lot of 14-inch splake mixed in with these, a lot of planted fish. If you were using other devices, them fish would have it or a tip-off. Exactly. Tip they, they have do it down to their A guts. lot of times, and you know, the mortality rate isn't as bad, but we'll cut that hook off if they're swallowed, but then you never know what's going to happen. Right. With this, they're hooked right in the corner of the mouth. You can let that fish go and guarantee he's going to be fine. Well, I'll tell you what, this is our first full year with the guillotine here, oh. and we have caught, Tommy, so many fish on this device. It is absolutely awesome. And you know, fishing is all about getting more people involved at the outdoors. Like I said earlier in the show, hey, you don't have to keep all the fish. Exactly. Let them go. Exactly. It's fun catching them. Really? Yeah. I'm running just all silver flutter with this little orange dot. Where's my flutter like that? If I have more. You are a star, buddy. I'll tell you what, you always take care of the guys that are catching fish. Hey, I hear a guillotine. Oh, on the end. Oh. You're in a lot better shape than me. Hey, I'll tell you what, this week's tip of the week brought to you by our good friends up at Mike's Country Meats there in Tiger Tent. And this is one of my favorite parts of the show, Tommy, is the tip. Because, you know, when it comes to fishing, you're always learning. So yep. what do you got this week for us for our tip? Well, this tip's going to pertain more to the Great Lakes or a river situation, anywhere where you'd have current. You know, a lot of times we'll be in the bay or today we have a current, of course, that's going south. So a lot of times, as you can see here, we have multiple holes drilled. We used to always take our transducer and we'd right. move it here and we're trying to find Where our lure. Where it would read, right? right? And you're messing with that all day. So like, see here, I can see my lure clear. But if you simply take the float off of your transducer. Okay. If you think of this transducer as a flashlight, if you tip this transducer, it's of course gonna shine towards whatever. whatever direction you're shining. Yeah, that's right, wherever. So if you put, the say the current's going towards the camera, I'm going to put the transducer on my side of the hole and I'm going to pull it up just enough and all you can do is just cinch it right on your Vexlar. Pull your Vexlar away from the hole just enough until it shines that transducer at an so angle it's and it's going to it. shine, it's tilting it right towards your lure. Just pull that unit away when my transducer is on the edge. Now you can see the lure. 
see when I put that transducer all the way back in the hole, see it starts to go away. It's just going out of my cone, because right now the current's going that way, so I'm pulling it up this side of the ice. And then you don't, every, to say 15 minutes later, your current changes, you're not drilling holes to try to come back Constantly this way. Right you just move your it. unit on this side, and now my transducer is shining behind me. You know, so on a river situation, you might not have to change it at all, but out here on the Great Lakes, sometimes 15 times a day, Holy as the chase Lord. goes up and down in the bay, our current changes. Hey, and that is a great tip of the week. And again, we thank our good friends up at Mike's Country Meats up there in Tigerton, the finest jerky on the planet. Hey, Tommy, for that one? I'm marking one. I'm this marking is one. all yours. Let's see if you can handle that and catch a fish. I'm bit. marking one. Wings Over Wisconsin, a nonprofit organization dedicated to natural resource restoration, preservation, and education with youth and community involvement. Through cooperation with private landowners, state and federal agencies, Wings Over Wisconsin has been a leader in the preservation of our natural wildlife habitat with donated dollars staying in Wisconsin for Wisconsin. For information about how you can join this great organization or how to start a new chapter, please visit wingsoverwisconsin.org. For over 25 years, Midwestern Shooter Supply has been your premier dealer for hunting supplies. Our staff is friendly, experienced, and certified with over 15 years in gunsmithing experience. We're your one-stop shop for your hunting needs. Our inventory is at the lowest possible price, and we will match any other dealer advertised price. Do you do more than hunt? Check out our supply of fishing products as well. Visit Midwestern Shooter Supply today, or shop our web store at mwshooters.com. Midwestern Shooter Supply, we want to be your outdoor supplier. Vexilar, always innovating, never imitating. For nearly 60 years, Vexilar has been the innovator to help anglers catch more fish. The FLX sonar technology changed the flasher sonar world forever with the creation of the FLX 28. Now the FLX 12 features a brilliant display and easy to use two button control system. The FLX 20 is packed with features like zoom zones and a three color palette display. To learn more about FLX technology, visit vexilar.com. sent me up here on a mission. She that said, was... Larry, don't come home without some splake. They're the best eating fish in the state. My wife is five months pregnant. I got to catch that next week. So she's happy with me. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Are you just resetting this? I got reset it. Just put it down. Is that a splake? Oh, nice bro. Nice. 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 Look how pretty this is. <laughs> nice job. Nice job. That's fun. Hey, again, huh? I can't say it enough, Keith. Yeah, Where is the look, hook in the gill? Right the there gilded. in the beak. Perfect. You're not killing fish. No, that is no, absolutely, that's, that's that is perfect right there. What an awesome day, Tommy, what I'll tell you what. You know, we were actually <laughs> supposed to film this last Sunday, and you know, the thing I really admire about you, Tommy, is that, you know, the winds were like almost augusting up to 40 miles an hour. And you know, when you're fishing big water like this, yep. this is definitely not a place that unless you've got a lot of knowledge that you want to come on your own. You exactly. definitely want to hire a guide yep. at least the first yeah. couple times to get to know, because this is big water. A lot of current around these islands too, isn't yep. there? For sure. You look right here, you know, we're on a solid foot of ice. And last Sunday, we were on ice that we could snowmobile on, I would say six good inches. Okay. But you don't know what a 50, 40 mile an hour wind is going to do. Right. So this, this, there's no sense in risking it. Yeah. It's, and you don't want to be trolling out in the exactly. middle of nowhere. Right? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. You got to yeah. be careful out here. It's a whole different deal. Well, that's awesome. If you awesome. question it all in your head, you don't do it. That's a nice fish. <laughs> oh, yeah. Nice job. Nice job. Gotta like hey. it. 
What do you think of that, buddy? <laughs> I think you're fantastic. <laughs> oh, beautiful. Well, I'll tell you awesome. what, Luke, Kurt, what an, what an awesome year so far we've had with the guillotines. This has really been something. I'll tell you what, I'm a farmer for a living and you've kept me on the run, so we appreciate that very much. <laughs> and well, you know that that's my style. I like to keep her moving. Yeah, and uh, it's just been unbelievable. Everywhere we go, we catch fish and we catch them, guillotines catch them. It's just unbelievable. But you know, and the most important thing is, Kurt, we're having a lot of fun. We're having a that's great what time. it's and all about right and there. Luke the yep. is loving it. I can see it in his face. He's going to be doing this a long time. Probably have to stay in that recess again tomorrow. Home <laughs> well worth hey, it, well though, worth right? Well look, look, come here, take it, take it, take it, take it. It's a nice <laughs> fish. Keep your rod tip up nice. Yep, rod tip up a little bit. There you go. Now remember, just lift Ooh. when you get to that swivel a little bit. Oh, there he is. There he is. Get him. Oh, oh yeah! <laughs> <laughs> wow. Awesome. Stop it. <laughs> Gotta love it. Awesome Ooh, job, nice buddy. Nice job. I'll tell you that. That awesome. is it. Look at how beautiful these fish are. Up They're here. almost twins. Almost, Almost twins. twins. Two beauties. That yeah. is absolutely awesome. awesome. What a great way to end the day. This thing is so cool. Hey, Tommy, what an unbelievable day. And I'll tell you something. I was sitting before watching everybody, and this is a day like today, really makes you think about how special we are and how lucky we are to have such a great country, a great state to fish and hunt in, and really good people. You know, and that's really what the outdoors are all about, spending time with your friends and your family and creating memories. And I'll tell you today, definitely created a, a good memory. So, hey, Tommy, if people wanna come out, and do this, my friend, how can they do it? You can always hit us up on Facebook, of course, Beyond the Catch Guide Service. 715-292-4342 uh, is my phone number, and beyondthecatch.com. Hey, I'll tell you, this is absolutely an awesome place. Beautiful scenery, great fishing, yep. but again, what a great place to bring friends and family and to experience what we had got to experience today. We'll be, we'll be doing the same thing here for the next month. And then as this ice grows, we'll be moving out in the islands, and I think we're going to sneak you back up here for a little lake trout action. I'm looking forward to that's, that that's for sure, I'll something. tell you that. Hey, thanks you guys big yeah, time for guys. joining thank us you. today, thank you. and thank you for joining us. And remember, like I always say, what a great day to be alive. Uh-oh. Oh. That's like what the Vikings are going to do in the playoffs. Fumble. Fumble? <laughs> Nate's got one hooked up, looks like a big splay. Oh, you've got to be <laughs> kidding me. <laughs> <laughs> Which way is off on this thing? I don't know, right? Yep. Righty, tighty, lefty, loosey. What do you got this week for us for our tip? Well, this tip will more... Start over. What do you got this week for our tip? <laughs> <laughs> Hold on a minute. Ha, 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 ha.